माय डियर जेई वॉरियर्स आई नो यू गाइज आर प्रिपेयरिंग रियली वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग जेनुअरी अटेम्प्ट ऑफ जेई मेन्स बट यू शुड बी वेल अवेयर एंड यू शुड हैव दैट नॉलेज ऑफ हाउ मच स्कोर डू यू रियली नीड एंड वॉट इज द सेफ्टी नेट टू गेट इन टू योर फेवरेट एनआईटी एंड दैट टू कंप्यूटर साइंस ब्रांच Yes, there are lot of seats in NITs. There are thirty-two NITs. There are close to twenty-five thousand seats, and if you take an average around seven hundred to eight hundred seats per NIT, but obviously not all NIT seats are coveted. Meaning, not all the seats are fiercely fought. So the top seats are obviously for computer science and related branches. So we need to understand how much gap we need to fill in. so that you can work accordingly or else you will be in some different world okay this is enough i think i have heard 96 percentile is good enough 99 is good enough but then you should not be in a state of shock so watch this video till the end and i'm making it very crisp and clear and yes i am going to give you details for all the nits and i have you know arranged it tier wise tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 tier 1 obviously the battle will be very very competitive very fierce tier 2 yes it's mid level battle tier 3 many of you might get it but don't take it too easy also it is not like the cutoff is very low but yes there is a good chance at least you might get into tier 3 nits so which is your favorite nit among all of this which is your home state nit probably you can put it up in the comments and yeah if you have forgotten to like this video please like this video because it takes a hell lot of time to collect all this data and verify it and making sure that i present to you on time thank you guys for liking and if you have not yet subscribed or hyped the video please do that as well okay or else you will miss out on all the cool info okay so thank you for liking guys so let's begin starting off with tier 1 computer science uh, branches you know the seats how many of them are there remember 25000 seats are there in nits but only a few of them are for computer science you can see tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 how many seats are there okay and uh, you can see it is not too much it is uh, definitely good enough considering that if every college now starts making only computer science there will be too many computer science engineers which probably might uh, lose the charm then okay so let's start off with the cutoffs and i will give you the safety score tier 1 computer science nit cutoffs this is how it is this is for other state quota okay for example in trichy you have to be within 1500 rank that is around 240 marks and you should be getting 99.9 percentile okay then only you will be able to get this particular nit computer science it's insanely high competition even if you take one of the lowest tier 1 nit say for example nit delhi or surat or kurukshetra still it is 99.6 meaning around 206 to 205 marks are at least needed for you to get into a top tier 1 nits if you are applying from outer state but if it is your home state the difference is not much like if you take nit trichy still it is 223 marks percentile is 99.8 so the home state advantage is there by 0.1 percentile but it is not too much that you can relax even for the lower tier 1 nits you can see 200 marks are still needed 99.5 percentile so what is it that you should expect if you want to get into tier 1 nits computer science at least 210 to 240 marks so that 100% you will be sure yes if the paper is difficult this score will go little bit lower but don't expect it to go lower by 30 40 marks maybe 10 marks or 20 marks at the max but not too much because this is the competition at the top so remember the scores don't change too much at the top next tier 2 yes this is where you can probably find a little bit of relief so right from durgapur jalandhar hamirpur silchar raipur to goa you can see the percentiles are right from 99.4 to 99.2 marks wise 195 200 186 186 183 the same story has repeated even in the previous years so if you talk about the home state quota you can see still we need 190 marks 99.3 percentile 98.9 98.6 so still on the higher side but a small sigh of relief is there okay so if your nit is there let me know quickly in the chat box or if you are from one of these states definitely you should put it up in the comments okay so for tier 
bare minimum you should try and aim for 190 marks 210 you will get the best of the tier 2 nits that is the safety net if the paper is hard then this can go down by uh, 10 to 30 marks you know depending on the difficulty now let's talk about the tier 3 nits now do not think sir if i go to tier 3 nits will the placements be very bad uh, will uh, will it be good can i compare it with some private college see first of all it is your personal choice second of all you are getting nit tag third of all even the tier 3 nits have brand value plus good placement yeah not the best like tier 1 number 4 if you are specially in these states then definitely you should apply in case you are not getting you know any tier 1 tier 2 nits and the private colleges that you are getting are not that great having said that still the battle is good only it's not like very low percentiles are applying for it look at it outside state percentiles for nit andhra nit agartala by the way andhra is a very good nit it is a very upcoming tier 3 nit it will definitely go to tier 2 and tier 1 in the near future i believe okay uh, so you can see still the percentiles are in 98 range and marks are still in 160s 150s 170s range even if you are applying from outside state so if they are applying that tells you that they are thinking only and they are brilliant students that who are entering into the tier 3 NIT. So, the crowd will still be great even if you compare it to some random private college. Home state wise, there is a little bit of relief. Yes, there are certain states like Mizoram or even NIT Sikkim where at 80 marks and 31 marks or so students have got because it is home state. So, it depends on you know which region, how many students are there, how many seats are there. So, some advantage is there in certain uh, states. So, definitely you should make use of it. Okay. So, to summarize it, tier 3, you will need at least 140 marks to 185 marks. Only then you will get the tier 3 NITs. Yeah, exceptions are some states where the cutoffs can go way lower. That is a very special case. Now, if you are giving the mock test, how much score are you getting and how much backlog and syllabus is pending? Do let me know quickly in the comments because there is something really cool and amazing coming up for all of you on the 3rd of December. Yes, the session is live on the channel. Make sure you are going there and marking your attendance right away, right now. Yes, it is there in the live section. You can see it right over here. And a lot of students are waiting for this big surprise. Obviously, it's the Ekalavya test series surprise. But whatever it is, you should definitely go and mark your attendance and mark those dates as well. All right. So, I hope you found this information very useful. And uh, make sure that you are closing in your gap or depending on whichever tier and uh, branch that you are targeting. Because if you are 30-40 marks away, that is a huge gap. You need to cover it up. And it can be covered up because you still have around 50 to 70 days, you know, and a lot of things can happen in this upcoming weeks. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for liking and please share it with your friends as well. This was your Captain Shares signing off.